Hey, happy Valentine's Day, fornicators. Thank you for joining me for an impromptu pajama party. Got my tea, I've got my pajamas on, and uh, I've got this tea and I've got some other tea. What a hellacious day this was. I'm not even sure where to begin with this because I haven't thought too much about it before I'm filming, but I have to. Okay, you will hear the name Stephen Mango in this video, but it's not about him. However, it will come up. You remember I did a video about him where I said he didn't give people credit for the clips that they gave him. He didn't link anybody. Well, there was a woman in there that I would have gone to her channel sooner, but I didn't know who she was because he didn't link her. But I saw her yesterday and it was called Heart of a Poet or the Heart or the Art of, the, of a Poet. I think it's Heart of a Poet. It's hard to say now because her channel's gone and I went to look it up, but I think it was Heart of a Poet. Um, she had a great video up. I hadn't seen her before, but she was talking about having been involved in that and said a lot of the same things that I had said. She had some of the same observations and she got a laugh out of it too. And I just thought, I like her. She's got, you know, the heart of a comedian, really. She's very funny. And she had been apologizing for a video that she did that nobody thought was funny, but she did, which I thought was funny too. Uh, even though I hadn't seen the video, I was amused by her having to apologize because she did it in kind of a quirky way. And I thought that was funny. So I just, she said, you know, I say yes and I things and I, I don't care if this doesn't make sense. And she just felt that she wanted to, you know, get this off her chest. And her son had the flu. So... I left a comment and I said, I, you know, I know what you're talking about because I didn't know Jen Gerard either. That was something she had mentioned. Uh, and remember, Mango said we were all like part of knowing Jen Gerard. I like to call it the Illuminati. It's a secret society that are all, you know, pretty much selling their souls and devoutly loyal for free cosmetics. <laughs> so anyway... I, you know, had a little exchange with her. It was very pleasant. And she said, you know, after my son goes to sleep, I'm going to come see your videos. That was the last I heard of her. And today, all her videos are gone. <laughs> she privatized everything. And she had one video up. And it said um, that she wanted to tell the truth. It was titled, uh, Telling the Truth About Mango Tea and how, how I'm, or Why I'm Leaving YouTube. So I had a feeling that wouldn't be up long, so I clip grabbed it. I do have the original video, so I can back up anything I say about the video, even though I can't instruct you to go watch it first and come back. I can't even advise that because it's gone. So the fact is, she said in this video that she had an exchange with Tawny that just really, really rubbed her the wrong way, in her own words. It just rubbed her the wrong way. And that Tawny had asked her if she had gotten free cosmetics from Jen Gerard. And my ear went up like, mm -hmm, because I remembered that was something that Stephen Mango had alluded to. And I'm like, oh, well, she must have been joking if she said that. She was. Because I talked to her on Twitter. <laughs> and with Tawny's permission, I actually have that Twitter exchange that the two of them had. I said, please, if you don't mind, may I have this? Because this really makes a very strong argument that this girl was so wrong. Now, her video's down, but if anybody saw it and believes her, or if anybody else uses that video, and Art of the Poet, if you, Heart of the Poet, if you're watching this, I want you to understand how wrong you are, how wrong you were in your assumption. Like, I, when you people see the tweet, you'll see for yourself how misconstrued it was. I mean, it even ends with LOL. It's like, are you kidding me? She was saying, I was up all night and you guys don't even know how deep this goes. <laughs> yeah, the Illuminati. Woo. Anyway, <laughs> Tawny, she says, well, I'm not trying, I'm, I'm not trying to throw her under the bus or I'm not throwing her under the bus. I'm like, what are you talking about? Isn't this the very definition of saying, look, look how horrible this person is. They sent me this horrible thing in DM, but I'm not throwing them under the bus, you know? Um, so, you know, if you kill somebody in broad daylight, it really doesn't matter if it was a bus or not, does it? I mean, you're definitely, you're definitely saying something terrible about her character. And you're saying that she is part of this conspiracy, the Illuminati. They're watching, the real ones. They're watching right now. Mm. Anyway, she said she was up all night and it really rubbed her the wrong way. 
And, you know, she just knows that mango tea, she, oh, this is what she said. Jen Gerard never asked, offered me makeup, but I know for a fact she's approached other smaller channels. And that really made me want to make this video because I was included in those smaller channels of the Illuminati. <laughs> that fun never ends with that word. So I was included in that. So I feel a need, if anybody has seen this video or if anybody else reposts it and, and wants to list it as the gospel truth, I want to clear this up right now. That girl was wrong. And without further ado, here is the Twitter exchange. Thank you, Tawny, for your permission. So here it is, the phrase in question that kept the art of a poet up all night and had her thinking this thing went deeper than anybody knew. It says... But I don't know about you, did she offer to send free makeup for your videos? LOL. Because she didn't me. LOL. How could she not know that Tawny was joking, even if you weren't privy to the fact that that was a joke circulating uh, this week through these different circles? It was something that Stephen Mengo alluded to, that there was bribes and that we were getting free makeup and stuff. So... I don't understand, even if she didn't know that. Doesn't, don't those LOLs kind of suggest that she's speaking tongue-in-cheek? And if she, if she wasn't certain, she should ask. And she should, at the very least, have been uncertain. Like, wait, how does she mean that? Okay, so before the NyQuil kicks in, I just took a shot of. I'm going to uh, take off my makeup while I do the rest of this video, and I hope you don't mind if I do a little ni nighttime get ready with me. That works out conveniently, considering I just really need to get ready for bed, because I get up bright and ugly. Mama Squirrel's got to earn a nut. So let me tell you what I do know for a fact. <clears throat> In my exchanges with Tawny, uh, we've spoken on Twitter. Um, we've had exchanges, and, and everybody knows I'm definitely one of her hot mess grannies. I, I really think a lot of her. Um... Tawny's walking like she's talking because remember in her videos, she said, you don't have to like all of the same people that I like. She's amongst those of us who are kind of frustrated with people who just make you draw that line in the sand and you're with them or against them. And that really, you know, sometimes it starts out like it's everything's okay. And then, you know, things build a little bit and tension builds and then tension builds. And then all of a sudden it doesn't take very much to piss them off because you are on the wrong side, right? Well, Tawny and I have not always agreed on Twitter. And when I disagree with her, she just lets me disagree. She doesn't say anything nasty. She doesn't turn on me. She doesn't backbite. She's been very reasonable for, you know, a 26-year-old woman. She is a grown-up. A lot of us think of her as a kid, but I think she's 26. Correct me if I'm right, Tawny, but I think you're 26. Um, so, yeah, I just... I really appreciate that about her. That's not a quality that's so easy to find, especially... Uh, and the divisiveness of YouTube these days. And I felt really bad for her. I don't know, maybe I haven't done her any favors. I mean, I'm a small channel, but, you know, I have, I've found that the people on this channel, um, over 400 subs, and I really appreciate you, thank you, uh, they have been, I mean, you guys, your comments are better than my vlogs. There's just really intelligent, nice people have come to my channel, and I'm so grateful. I really am profoundly grateful. And I feel that you're all smart and uh, uh, you can figure these things out for yourself. And that's why I presented this. If anybody wants to see the clips, uh, oh, sorry, my eyes are like stingy. I'm just so clipped over you. Uh, if anybody wants to see those clips, it may go up at some point, but I might be able to like privately send them or something or maybe unlisted or something. I don't know. I'll have to sleep on that because... The girl seems kind of fragile, the one who, who put it up. And I don't want to make things worse for her. She's got a sick kid. She's really not handling the heat very well. And, and I don't want to be mean to her because I, I was so frustrated. I get frustrated when people misunderstand really obvious things. But it wasn't done out of malice. Um, and I hope that she comes to see that. Apparently there was something like that before where she had done another video and said she was sorry and took it down. And now this, I just feel like, you know, she said in her video yesterday that she didn't get a lot of heat from uh, Mango T's fans. I don't know if that changed or if she just felt like uh, she didn't want to go up against somebody with a, a bigger channel. I don't know. Um, bigger than hers anyway. It's all perspective. I know that's to some people it's a small channel, but 
It's bigger than a lot of them. Probably bigger than most. But, uh, yeah, I think I, I just was frustrated that she did that because she really misunderstood her. And just from that one sentence, completely decided that Stephen Mango was right and that, you know, there is this conspiracy and in her words goes deeper than anybody knows. And what does that mean? I thought that was a little out there, but I hope that she reconsiders. I hope, you know, that it all comes together. You know, the thing is you do have to have a thick skin on YouTube. You in life in general really should make your own opinion the one that counts most. And that's going to affect everything, being that your perception determines your reality. I heard that from a Jedi Knight. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. God, I'm a nerd. So I, I really think that that's true, that your perception determines your reality. And if you have a thick skin, you don't just say, I don't care what people think. You really don't care. It's not what people say to you. It's what you do with what they say to you. If everybody in the world compliments you and you don't agree those compliments don't really mean anything because all of this must come from within. On my other channel, I had somebody say something horrible to me when I was like a brand new vlogger. This was when I was on Wise Apple. And that person said, uh, didn't I see you down at the docks giving blowjobs for $15? And I just, you know, a lesser woman would have crumbled. But I said, what? <laughs> you could get paid for that? I could have been an entrepreneur. What I should have said is, what were you doing down at the docks late at night checking the going rate of fellatio? I don't think it was for a marketing class. Sometimes I have fun with the trolls. <laughs> you know, it's funny though, Jen Gerard has not contacted me. I don't know why everybody thinks like she's behind everything in the Illuminati. Anyway, um... She hasn't contacted me, and it could be because I'm an atheist, and she is very religious and doesn't have anything in her cosmetic line that can cover the horns growing out of my head. So this was ultimately just the most ridiculous misunderstanding, and I really hope that this untangles it or diffuses a little bit, and this woman sleeps on it and, and sees that she was completely mistaken because... In her video, she said that she can't live with herself because she has so much integrity. But she put this out there and had completely blocked Tawny and everybody else on social media so that she couldn't even respond. That would have been the thing to do with integrity. Talk to her first. Tell her about this problem you're having with what she said and give somebody an opportunity to tell you you've misunderstood. I just think that she very quickly went to a, a strange place about what Tawny had said. So a point I wanted to make about Tawny was that in our exchanges on Twitter, um, she is very much walking like she's talking. If you watch her channel, she'll say, you don't have to like the same people I like. You know, like who you like, and, and I'll respect that. And she does. Because if she didn't, she probably would have gotten nasty with me a couple of times when we didn't see everything exactly the same way, and I had questions, and she just, you know, let me have my viewpoint, and she had hers. And uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, that's how everybody can get along a lot better. But, you know, some people will say that, you know, like, oh, I don't, I don't care if you don't like the same people I like. And then somehow it doesn't remain that way. There's, there's a line in the sand that everybody wants drawn. And, you know, it's kind of like when you're in Hollywood and they say, oh, just treat that celebrity like everybody else. But you better not. <laughs> so that's my take on it. If you're here with me so far, I really appreciate you for taking a time out from wine drinking and love making on your Valentine's Day. Don't stick your finger in the chocolates. They've got lists now of what's where. So have a great night. I'll see you next time. As always, I don't speak for everyone, just everyone who wants to be right. So saith a house row.